Hey there, we are talking about cell respiration today, and we are going to be talking in this video about glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. But before we get started, I want you to watch the Bozeman video, um, or the Mr. Anderson video, on the cell respiration, because it's the depth of information that we covered in Honors Bio. So I want you to bring that back up to the front of your brain to remember um, the basics of cell respiration before we jump into this sort of next layer of complexity. And so this notes assist is on PowerSchool and the Bozeman URL is going to be in the description on this video. So do that and then I'll see you on the next slide. So now that you've watched that video, I want to talk about the big ideas of uh, cell respiration. And in this schematic here, I want you to pretend that this methane is actually a glucose molecule. I like this uh, schematic because it's a good explanation. Um, I just wish that this was a glucose. So let's pretend that this was a glucose. And so the big idea of cell respiration is that glucose molecules are being uh, converted into or being oxidized into carbon dioxide. And so, and the oxygen is being reduced into water. But notice that at the beginning, these two molecules, the methane and the oxygen, are uh, sharing their electrons evenly. And these are high energy molecules because their electrons are being shared evenly. And so during cell respiration, is we're slowly, through many steps, many, uh, many chemical reactions, we are taking the energy from these, or these uh, molecules and we are uh, producing these low energy or unevenly shared molecules. So notice that the electrons are shared unevenly between um, the carbon and the oxygen, and the oxygen and the hydrogen. And so we breathe these out. We breathe out carbon dioxide and water. We take in these high energy molecules, take the energy out of them, and breathe these out. So um, that is one of the big ideas of cell respiration. And so the other big ideas of cell respiration is that um, we are simply taking the carbon um, out of the glucose molecule and we're pairing it with oxygen to create um, carbon dioxide. And so that's going to happen once in pyruvate processing or pyruvate oxidation and twice in the citric acid cycle. So we're stripping the energy from that glucose by taking the carbon and attaching them to oxygen. The other big idea is that in this process, we're taking the pieces from that glucose molecule and we are creating um, NADH. We're taking protons and electrons and we're adding them to a molecule called NAD plus and we're shipping them. So every time we make NADH, uh, we're going to ship them over to the electron transport chain. So we're going to be making NADH from uh, in glycolysis and in uh, pyruvate processing and in the citric acid cycle. And at every step of, this, of the way, we're going to sort of attach them to the NADH. We're going to be, uh, so the, we're going to be reducing the NAD plus. It's going to be gaining those hydrogens and those electrons. And we're going to ship them over to the electron transport chain. So those are the big ideas. Making carbon dioxide, breathing it out, and making the NADH or the electron carriers and shipping it over to the electron transport chain. So if anything gets confusing, just remember these big ideas. So here, at each step, um, we're going to be, uh, so glucose is going to be oxidized into carbon dioxide, and we're going to be doing um, cell respiration in sort of a series of steps, which creates this slow burn, this slow controlled burn. Otherwise, we'd burn up like a match because cellular respiration is very similar to um, a combustion reaction, but it's just more controlled. We have enzymes that are doing the, uh, making these steps happen. And so at every step, we're taking these hydrogens and electrons, and we're throwing them, sort of like an analogy would be putting them on this little truck. And this truck is the NAD+. And this truck is going to drive over to the electron transport chain, and that's where we're going to use them there. So at each step, um, products are produced or metabolites are produced and NADH is produced and sent over. 
And so also in this process, we're going to be making ATP. <clears throat> ATP is made in two different ways. During glycolysis and the citric acid cycle, we're going to be using enzymes to produce <clears throat> um, ATP, substrate level phosphorylation. And so this is easy to remember because we're just taking an enzyme and the substrates are going to be ADP and a phosphate group. And the enzyme is just going to put them together, just like you can picture an enzyme just making um, ATP. And it's easy to remember because the ADP is going to be the substrate in the enzyme. The other way that ATP is going to be produced during cell respiration is oxidative phosphorylation. And so these words are big. They're not scary, though, because phosphorylation just means to add a phosphate group to ATP um, to phosphorylate it. And so remember that oxidative phosphorylation occurs at the electron transport chain. And this is easy to remember because it's an oxygen that's going to be driving this process. Um, and so we don't really understand that yet, but we will. So know that it's an oxygen that's, that's phosphorylating or doing the phosphorylation um, during the electron transport chain. And those are the two ways that, uh, that ATP is going to be phosphorylated during cell respiration. So let's start at the beginning. Glycolysis happens outside of the mitochondria. And so here, if this is our mitochondria, we can see that glycolysis is happening right here, outside of it. And this can happen in the presence or the absence of oxygen. So glycolysis continues regardless of the presence of oxygen. And we look at uh, glycolysis in two basic phases. The energy investment phase right here, where we have to use two ATP um, in order to get to the energy payoff phase where other stuff is created. So let's look here at the steps. We're just going to look at these steps. You don't need to learn these. You don't need to remember the enzymes. Just understand that here at the energy investment phase, we have uh, two ATP are, produce, are, are used, are invested into uh, this first part, the first five steps here. But we need to invest those ATP because in the second part of um, glycolysis, in the second set of the 10 reactions, we have four ATP produced and two NADH produced. And so we call that the energy payoff phase. So in order to get to that payoff phase, we have to uh, invest those A2 ATP. So our net at the end of glycolysis is two ATP and two NADHs. Um, and then we also have two high energy pyruvate, pro pyruvate molecules, which are going to go into the pyruvate processing or into the mitochondria. So pyruvate enters into the mitochondria. So here's our pyruvate. So in, during glycolysis, we took a six, a six carbon molecule, gly, uh, glucose, and we cut it into two three carbon molecules, or two pyruvate. So here's our pyruvate, and we have one pyruvate here. And remember that there's a second pyruvate as well, but we're just going to follow one pyruvate right now. And so pyruvate goes into the mitochondria, and one of these carbons and two oxygens, our carboxyl group, is released as a carbon dioxide. The NAD plus uh, is going to be used to produce an NADH, or the uh, electrons are going to be added to NADH, and a hydrogen ion is going to be used and added to NAD, NAD plus to produce NADH. So electrons from this pyruvate are going to be added to NADH. And then a coenzyme A um, is going to be added, which is a sulfur-containing molecule, a high-energy sulfur-containing molecule, is going to be added to the rest of this molecule to produce acetyl-CoA. And it's acetyl-CoA that is going to be going into the uh, citric acid cycle. Citric acid cycle is coming right up, and that is also inside the, uh, inside the, the mitochondrial matrix. And so here, remember that we are producing two acetyl-CoA's. Um, we're going to follow just one acetyl-CoA through the citric acid cycle. But remember that we have to multiply everything that we make by two because each glucose molecule produced two pyruvate molecules. And two pyruvate molecules were converted into two acetyl-CoA's. 
So a total of two acetyl-CoA's are produced. And so let's follow this one acetyl-CoA. Um, and the uh, process is going to begin by taking the oxaloacetate, and it's going to work together with the acetyl-CoA to produce citrate. Citrate, for what the citric acid cycle is, uh, is, is named, is going to go into this, the next set of uh, reactions, and then there's going to be another set of reactions, and another set of reactions. So if you remember the stairs that we saw earlier, um, each, of these, uh, each of these products have less and less energy in them. And so here, um, notice that the oxoal acetate is used in the first set of reactions, and the acetyl-CoA comes in, but it's also the products of the last set of reactions. So it starts and ends the process, hence cycle. And so here, ATP is created by, right over here, ATP is created by substrate level phosphorylation, so it's an enzyme that is taking the uh, ADP and uh, phosphate and just putting them together to make ATP. We also are producing NADH, 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 um, and another electron carrier, same idea as NADH, um, FADH2. These are going to be shipped off over to the electron transport chain where we're going to use them later. Um, so we're just taking electrons and hydrogen ions and adding them to the NAD plus to create NADH and FADH2. And so here's our last slide of the citric acid cycle or of this lecture. Um, so remember that uh, it starts and ends with um, oxoal acetate and acetyl-CoA. And during steps 3, 4, and 8, NADH are produced. During step 6, FADH2 is produced, same thing as NADH, just a different molecule, same idea, it's an electron carrier. Uh, and during step 5, GTP is produced, which is a very similar molecule to ATP and is going to eventually get converted into an ATP. So we say that during step 5, ATP is produced. And so that is it for the citric acid cycle. Let me know if you have any questions.